Okay, Caleb, one movement that I would suggest early on to help us out, and there's some other things that we'll, you know, I can talk about later, but right now as we are taking our stride, two things. Number one, as you, before you even get your foot down, as we watch, let me switch to my arrow, your back knee, your front knee, as your foot's coming down, see how you're starting to swing? So right there, and you can watch, uh, you know, I have all the instructional videos up on our Google site. You can watch how the guys, uh, the major league guys are striding on the examples that I put on this page and see how they're getting into the ground with their toe and heel before they start to rotate. So as you rock back, you get some hip load, okay? It's not too bad. Um, I would like to see your foot straighter, pointing back like this makes it a lot pretty tough to get off of your backside. But the two big things are we want to get into the ground before we start to rotate. And you can see again that you're starting to rotate before you get in the ground. That sets you up in this around type of angle rather than getting length through extension. And the other thing is, you know, as we work on, we're going to get into the ground before we rotate. That will help us get separation between our lower half and upper half because what you'll end up seeing here, I can't zoom in because then we won't see both. I'll try the best that I can here, is as your foot's coming down, you're going to see your hands are starting forward. So we're getting our lower half, or upper half in front of our lower half. And the end result, as we get this hand motion first, is we get a really long path to the ball coming down and then out instead of being pulled straight out of the slot. So we have a very, 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 very long path there, and we've created a lot of disconnection. You can look at all the samples I put up, put up look up the sample that I put up of Matt Delvo, of how by turning first, his hands are able to stay in that position, uh, meaning the same distance from his back shoulder because we get our arms going first. We create all of that separation there, and the end result is that we get that around type of action.